Five years, Catherine Hoggle has been considered mentally unstable to stand trial, but now prosecutors are hoping a new medication she's on will improve her condition. Well, that's why the Montgomery County State's Attorney's Office wanted a delay in her competency trial. This is the first time my kids have ever been mentioned in a courtroom whenever we're here over them being murdered. Troy Turner was in that Montgomery County courtroom in July on what would have been his son Jacob's seventh birthday. Every day is hard, but these days, you know, it's we should be getting a cake for him. We should be giving him gifts. Two year old Jacob and three year old Sarah Hoggle vanished in September of 2014. Their mother, Catherine Hoggle, was arrested for their murders, although their bodies were never found. After five years under the same doctor's care, Montgomery County State's Attorney John McCarthy wanted someone new. The determination about what, whether someone's competent or not is a judicial determination. It's not, you know, just because one doctor has an opinion or another doctor has an opinion, the court does not have to ad adopt or accept the findings of, of the doctors. But as of today, the new doctor finds Hoggle is still unfit and, quote, dangerous. Last week, Hoggle blacked out at Clifton T. Perkins Hospital, where she's being treated with a new antipsychotic drug called clozapine. McCarthy filed a motion last week. He wants Hoggle's next competency hearing delayed until December so she can undergo further evaluation. And there are some specific things that, that Judge Greenberg wants to hear from the experts about, things like malingering and restorability and competency. But Turner doesn't buy it. And he's infuriated by this long process. The truth is that she's malingering. I'm very sure of that, and I'm very sure that she's competent to stand trial. All the while, Sarah and Jacob's dad is still praying for answers about exactly what happened. It's infuriating whenever I feel like that she has more rights than my children do. She has more rights than my children who she has taken from us. Well, Hoggle has been on clozapine for six months now. It's used for people with schizophrenia. Hoggle's doctor believes that the drug is working and that she is, quote, closer to competency than she has been in prior years, but needs more time to evaluate the final results. However, the judge will make the final say about whether Hoggle is competent to stand trial. If he finds she is not, charges against Hoggle could be dropped.